Okay, salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, and you already know I had to break out the holiday blazer for today's video. To those who are celebrating, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Thank you so much for tuning in. I was going back and forth on whether or not I wanted to make this video this year. For those who aren't around annually, at the end of every year I like to sit down around Christmas time and just have a really open, transparent conversation with the audience about the past year we've had. You've all been so gracious enough to bless me with this incredible platform, and I know it's really important that we use it for gaming, to talk news, reviews, the latest updates, all of that important stuff. But I also think it's equally as important that we take some time, at least once a year, to just sit down and talk as humans. Yeah, it's not good for the algorithm, it's not good for the role the channel's on, it's not gonna perform super well, but I think it's important to show every step of the way that there's heart involved in what you do. So it's important to me to talk to all of you every year. So I wanted to make sure I went through with it and did it this year. Because as the audience grows, the reason I had hesitation is it gets a little noisy. People care less. There's so many new people coming in who don't really care about you. But I know a lot of you've been around long term and I appreciate that. And I think these chats are helpful to all. Uh, what I really want to do was not only talk about the future of the channel, but thank you all. Uh, I know it's kind of cliche, YouTuber thanks audience, but this has been a tremendous year in a lot of ways. This has also been a horrible year in probably more ways than last year. And I know that's funny because 2020 was like a historically bad year, uh, but we'll get into all that today. But I just wanted to thank you all from the bottom of my heart because uh, you give me a lot of purpose, a lot of reason to put my feet on the ground every day. My work is my everything. Uh, this is my baby. I love what I do. I hope it shows. Uh, and I just feel incredibly blessed to be embraced by a community. You know, for those who aren't aware, I was a part of the Fallout community for a long while. And I'd say I still am, uh, but I'm not as prominent there as I once was. And uh, when we started defining Duke this year and the Xbox community really welcomed me with open arms, I was really kind of scared uh, because the, the FOB community doesn't like me as much because <laughs> I was like 18 and a moron uh, during the during my prime in that community. So uh, there was a flashback to that as I was being embraced by another community. But uh, y'all, whether Xbox fans or not, just have been incredibly warm and receptive to me. So thank you so much for taking a chance on me. Let me deliver the news, the reviews, the discussions, all of those talks to you this year. It's been incredible. I also want to thank Josh, our editor, our main editor here on the channel. Josh does a lot of hard work for us. Uh, he never says no, and I'm waiting for him one day to say no, but he's like superhuman to me. He makes a lot of the wheels turn here on this channel. He does phenomenal work. A lot of things people have complimented me for. I always make sure to specifically call out in the comments like that was Josh, it was not me, because he deserves all the credit in the world. He makes this channel go around. So thank you, Josh, and thanks to your support on Patreon, thanks to your support just by watching content, I'm able to continue to give Josh annual bonuses, uh, annual raises, because that's important to me too, is to continue to rise him up the ladder. Uh, I want to shout out my good friend, Paul. Uh, love Paul to death. Ham Radio uh, Live co-host also does a lot of the extra editing work here on the channel. Paul, without you just hopping in at random times, uh, this wouldn't have been possible. Uh, especially with Hammer Radio Live, you, you really jumped into the fire with that one, and that takes balls. So all the props to you. You're a good friend of mine, so thank you for that as well. Uh, I also wanted to thank, who else we got here? I got a whole list of people I just wanted to send some love to before I get into the, the real meat of this video. Uh, Lockmort, Lockmort and Jimmy are the main reason that Retro Rebound can exist. Jimmy does the thumbnail work. Jimmy's a good friend of mine, Jimmy Champagne, and Lockmort, who y'all at LSM are definitely aware of with his edits. Uh, Locke does all the editing for that channel. And without his work there, I literally would not have the time or the capacity uh, to do anything on Retro Rebound. But that's been such an important space for me. And thanks to, again, your support there for allowing it to even be worth going to. Uh, I'm just honored by everyone's participation in that. We're about to pass 10,000 subs on that channel. Uh, it's just been a blast going back into that nostalgia bag. Uh, so thank you to Locke and Jimmy for, for really making that possible. You, you guys mean the world to me as well. Uh, I also wanted to thank uh, Dustin for his participation in Ham Radio Podcast. Dustin, you 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 brought Ham Radio Podcast uh, to, to new heights before we shut it down. 
Uh, and I always say that you were the shot in the arm that show needed. Uh, you and Carrick, I want to thank Carrick as well. Carrick, you, you, you've you mentored me, man. Like, uh, you, you taught me so much. And I just, I owe you a lot, man. Uh, so a lot of love to both of you for, for making that show worth listening to. Because uh, you guys are, are the stars. You really are. And uh, that goes for Defining Duke, my co-host, uh, Lord Cognito. Savior of the show, man. I certainly, <laughs> I couldn't have carried it myself. Uh, Cog, I appreciate you endlessly, man. You're a brother. Thank you. Thank you to the rest of the LSM family who lifted me up and really gave me a a second wind, if you will. I kind of thought I was fading into irrelevancy in some ways. I thought I was bouncing back in some ways. Uh, but LSM, man, the family is real. But again, thank you to, to everyone. That's the list of people I had. Uh, and, and the reason I'm doing that is because I was just feeling very thankful. Uh, you know, it's, it's a tough year and you really got to thank your friends, your family, uh, and those who have made things possible. So just big shout out to all of you. And um, yeah, so I mentioned this was a tough year, right? Uh, that was the main reason I also wanted to make this video beyond thanking people. I keep saying main reason, I think, but whatever. These videos are unedited, so yeah, you get it. Um, this was a tough year because uh, I don't want to sound like a, a martyr, if you will. Like, I went through all this stuff and I didn't say shit to anybody. Uh, but a very select, small group of people knew a lot of the health issues I went through this year. Um, I'm not going to open up on all of them. All you need to know is I'm good. Like, nothing's life-threatening. Nothing's going to kill me out of nowhere. Like, nothing's developing. It's all been sought out and figured out and solutions have been met and finally here at the end of the year i can actually just kick my feet up and go exhale everything's okay uh i'm talking like heart issues and beyond that like i was going to the hospital for some stuff uh a lot of people were upset when some episodes of hammer Radio live got canceled or when we were uh too late with some of the news for defining duke and that falls on me because uh, for an episode or two, uh, I had some doctor's appointments. I had to go again to the emergency room at one point. And so, uh, I was unfortunately out of commission for certain stretches and no one knew that because every time I'd still be there, I'd still be in defining Duke. I'd still be doing my videos. Um, but yeah, it was, it was tough. My health really, uh, took a toll on me this year towards the latter part of the year. And uh, again, no one knew. So when people spoke to me certain ways, I, Took a lot of willpower to not tee off, <laughs> but, uh, you know, you can't blame people from when they don't know something. Um, you can only ask that everyone treats each other properly. Uh, but what happened was it opened my eyes because everything I went through was not directly connected to my work. But what I noticed was, you know, my health has only declined in these random ass ways as I've worked more and more. And for those who aren't aware, I, I mean, I... I would say I'm a workaholic. Like I just go, go, go 11 hour days pretty consistently. I'm right now, as I record this, it's 1030 on Friday, uh, December 17th. And so I, I work really late, long hours, uh, and it's because I love what I do, but that doesn't make it okay or healthy. And the reason I did that for so long is because I was hoping the audience would see it's almost like a compensation i gotta be honest like i know i don't make the flashiest most talented most beautiful videos i mean i watch some out there that i'm like oh my god incredible or i look at like skill ups so well spoken i look at like uh uh bob wolf i think his name is and like the way his videos are shot i'm like man scott the waz it's like oh god i don't know if i could ever do that i try to at times but uh, I, I look at them and I, I guess in the way I view it is I'm almost like compensating because it's like I can't do that. So I hope that my hard work, heart and dedication can speak to the audience that, you know, you don't have to be the most extremely crazy talented person uh, to do what I do. And I always encourage people to sign up for that. Um, you just have to love what you do. Um, obviously, there's more to it than that, but that's the good starting point. And um so what would happen is I'd end up just working myself to the bone, getting sick, and just really grinding myself down. And and after this year's trip to the hospital, which I haven't been to the hospital in a good like 10 years, I was like, okay, let's pull out at a bird's eye view and think about this because where I'm heading is probably to become a headline of here's what you don't do as a content creator. 
you don't work yourself to death. And I think in a lot of ways, that's kind of where I was heading. I was constantly exhausted. I could feel like my brain short circuiting. I was not getting enough sleep. Uh, I was not in a healthy place. I was not exercising enough. It sucked. It sucked. Uh, but the, the reason you do it is because like YouTube and this just content creation machine is a beast that demands you to be there on the hottest and the latest. And I think we did a good job of that. Uh, but what I've realized is it's time for change. Um, we're going to keep doing our news. Nothing, nothing dramatic is changing on your end. It's the pace at which we work. Um, that means preparing stuff in advance. And that also means doing a little less in some regards. So you may have noticed, actually, the day this is going live should be the day that normally we do a podcast. Uh, I have to podcast less. I'm sitting way too much. Doctor's orders in a lot of ways. Um, so... They've really instructed me, like, you got to be careful. You got to start looking out for yourself a little bit more. You know, you're fine. Things are okay. Don't worry. But start thinking about your future a little bit more. And that spoke to me a lot. It was like that, oh, shit, okay, this is real. And so we, you know, I had to look at everything I am doing and things I could cut. And it, I kicked myself for it, but we just can't do Hammer Alive anymore. Uh, just the extra eight hours of work that show demands between show prep uh, post-production where I got to upload it everywhere and script everything out, rendering everything out. Uh, the show itself is always three hours. Uh, I love it to death in the, you know, before anyone assumes, like, cause I already know people are going to run away with the narrative. Like it wasn't a dead show. Uh, the show did way better than ham radio podcast. It was, it was crazy to see like the live numbers, the archive numbers, the, the audio numbers, and you combine them all. It was just like really growing fast. And I feel bad for Paul, too, who, who was excellent on there. He was really coming into his own. I feel like I let him down. Um, but it's just, you know, he was super understanding, and I hope the audience will be that. I really just had to look out for myself here. I had to kind of be selfish and go, I have nothing to offer you in exchange. Normally, if you've watched any of my content rollouts, any of my announcements for my Patreon, it's like, I'm doing this, this, and this. Like, I'm always adding, and I just here cannot offer something in exchange. Like we just need to shut down the podcast. I will do monthly Q and A's over on the Patreon because I know we have a patron slot for early access to ham radio. So we're going to change it to that. Uh, but I know for some people that's not enough and it sucks because yeah, it's going to take a hit on the business. It's going to take a hit on the money, uh, but I'd rather be alive. I don't know how else to put it. So we're changing that. And the way we're changing it is again, we're still doing news. I, that's so important to me. I know that's important to you all. Um, but I'm also going to do more discussion oriented content. And you're going to see some of that moving forward. Uh, as you see these uploads afterwards, I'm going higher quality, uh, more discussion, more thoughtfulness, some more skits here and there. Um, and trying to make things that I can create in advance so I can take time to take care of myself. And so with the news cycle, it's very like now, 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 like not tomorrow, now. That's what YouTube demands of you. The audience in a lot of ways demands of you. That's fine. Uh, but I've noticed over the past number of years, like reviews, those discussion videos have done well. Uh, I've tried Let's Play stuff. Let's Play numbers. Like I can see the watch time. It's not good. Like it just doesn't do well. So my options are sort of limited. I'm trying to figure things out. Like it was, it, it sucked to see uh, Humanity's Worst Games. That was a flop, right? Like, you know, because people are going to say Hammer Alive was a flop, but... The real flop of the year was uh, Humanity's Worst Games. That was a high investment, like multiple weeks of production, hundreds of dollars per video spent, going ham with it, only to get like 4,000 views and make 20 bucks off of it. Like, it was such a sunk cost, and I couldn't justify it, right? It's, it sucks, but that's kind of the reality of this, is you just experiment and you learn stuff. Um, so, there were changes to the content that I had to make, and... I, it's all the stuff that people already watch, just expanding on that. So nothing will really change on your end. But for me, it allows me to take an extra day or two to myself and exhale and focus on me and make sure on those days I am working that I can go to the gym, that I can eat my three meals a day, that I'm not sitting in this chair for like nine, 10 hours a day. Because you got to remember, gaming's a hobby too that you got to sit for. <laughs> so you're sitting a lot before and after work. Um, so yeah, those are just some changes that I wanted to make people aware of. Uh, beyond that, what happened was because my health was deteriorating, my energy was deteriorating, I was getting pretty burnt out here at the end where we're gonna be taking a couple weeks off. There's stuff scheduled all throughout. Some of the stuff you've already seen was scheduled and I will be back. I think the last video I had scheduled was January 4th. 
So I got a good 17 days away from YouTube, which much needed. I love what I do, but much needed. We're scheduling tweets, scheduling community posts, scheduling all the promotion stuff. And then I'm out. <sighs> Throw the key away. I, I, I'm not going to interact with the comments or tweets, any of that stuff. I think I truly do. I've come to a point where I truly need a nice unplug reset to establish this new cycle that will begin in 2022. Uh, really, I said it 2021, but like really this time, like being very conscientious of my health. Um, but what happened was as that health deteriorated and I did get tired, I was really down on myself and I kind of want to just go back in time and slap the fuck out of myself. Cause I'm like, dude, man up my God, you're constantly feeling bad for yourself. Uh, and I don't know why sometimes when it rains, it pours and you're like, Oh, poor me. I don't know. But I just lost confidence in myself and it made no sense. Cause I had a lovely, beautiful girlfriend who endlessly supports me. And it's always there for me. My friends and family, same way. They're beautiful too. <laughs> uh, they supported me endlessly. I had an audience who did. I had mutuals, like the people I look up to who supported me. I was like, what validation am I looking for at this point? Like what's going on? And then I realized after some reflection on a rare day off, I was on a walk and I thought to myself, it's me. It's, it's me I'm trying to validate. Like I'm trying to prove it to myself. And it's because I work with such, I think, tremendously talented people like, you know, Carrick, um, Cog, Colin, uh, in a lot of ways, these are idols of mine, man. Like these are the dudes I looked up to, uh, you know, podcasting professionals, review specialists, uh, the guys who just find the words for everything while my brain just stutters a million times. I'm like, what do I say? I work with such tremendously talented people that I was like getting severe imposter syndrome. I was like, yo, I'm not even close to their level. Then you realize like I'm 26. We got a lot to learn here. But then you make a bet on yourself, right? So beyond the content we're doing here, some of you may have heard because I brought it up in videos, like we're working on a game, we're working on an RPG. And this is where I feel my heart is, uh, I'm, I'm like really validated. Uh, you know, this is where I'm like proving to myself, like you can do something special because uh, I played so many games and consumed so much content that's been moving for me. Uh, that's been amazing uh, that I thought to myself as I was writing this game, like this is it. Like, this is my this feels like in a lot of ways the moment to prove it to myself. And I spend a lot of time on it. I'm working with an extremely talented team uh, or a small team. And the progress is, is going along. We're doing really well. And I just can't wait to one day share it all with you. I don't know when it'll be. It'll obviously be years from now because games take a while to make. Uh, but what we're making, I'm just like, I don't want to say anything else other than I'm really excited about it. And I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. Um, so that's been sort of where my head's gone to is like, as I get older, you got to just look at your future. Like the way I work. It's not sustainable work patterns anyway, is, you know, I move out of my house and start living with my girlfriend and uh, move on to the next chapter of my life in a lot of ways, right? Like I wanna keep doing this. This is my job. This is the thing I love, the hobby that I gave my heart to. And I'm thinking of ways to evolve that. And you've already seen some of that with re-reviews and let's play style stuff that I'm still gonna try every now and then. I'm not gonna give up, right? Experimentation's key, discussions, news, all that stuff. You're gonna see all of that as we continue to try to make it work, right? But all this wouldn't be possible without, of course, the, the patrons. I got to shout out, man. I mean, holy smokes. Uh, just having that safety net. Tremendous help. Uh, but yeah, this has been uh, a really tough year to try and figure things out. But now at the end of it and really putting it out there, I think is what I also needed. I, I always feel like if I don't talk to the audience, I'm almost like hiding something. As you can tell, I'm a terrible fucking liar. Like I never lied to my parents, never lied to anybody in my life because I'm just so bad at it that it's like, like it was hard for me not to say like, hey, everyone, I was in the hospital, not because I want attention, but just like at times people are dicks. Like there's this increasing parasocial relationship I see online where people act like they know me. They act like they can speak to me a certain way. It's like, no, 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 no. Like there's a separation here. There's a barrier here. Like, we have to have a very specific relationship and how we speak to each other. Uh, so that wall has been like fully erected. Uh, but I lost my train of thought on where I was even going with all of this because we've been talking for so long. Um, 
at the end of all this, I just want to thank you again. Uh, thank you so much for your time, your generosity, your support uh, across the board on everything. Here, Retro Rebound, you'll be taken care of while I'm away. Retro Rebound will have its videos up, good to go. Mr. maddie has got videos up, good to go, five a week as per usual. Um, and everything will perform as per usual while I'm away. And I'm just getting some well-needed decompression, rest, um, and I think the reason I'm feeling this way, I may be coming on a bit strong. And I apologize if I do sound that way, because I don't want it to sound like I'm like, uh, I didn't go on any vacations this year. I didn't take any breaks this year. Like none, none. Like it was work, 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 work. Always planning for work. Like on my weekends when I'm supposed to be not working, I was planning for other work in the future. Um, and there was carryover like, oh, Saturday. It's like, I gotta get some ideas for Duke. Make sure I got the script ready and also keep ham uploaded because I, it takes like four hours to render and it's like there's carryover so alleviating some of that schedule and taking a break and resetting and figuring out like how i can create more future proof content um that's kind of the key to our future here um so i'm gonna put the trust in the audience too part of it was like the hesitation of like i want to do this but i also want to do like i'm just going full send like you're gonna see in the future like you're gonna see in these coming weeks uh some really thoughtful videos some news videos some scoops you're gonna see uh, list videos. You see a lot of different things that I'm really proud of. I went for more quality and scale and I do hope it pans out. I really do. Um, I won't be checking the numbers or anything. So when I come back, we'll see. And if it doesn't pan out, I'm at the point now where it's like, I'm not going to go, okay, we got to retool, like stay in the course. feels different, different vibes this time. So I've said all I feel I need to say. I just wanted to share all of this with you, uh, for really one reason and it was perseverance, I guess. Uh, if I can give myself a little pat on the back for anything, I think I persevered through a lot, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. I didn't even mention uh, my dog, Duke, passed away, so that was tough. And uh, it kind of highlights how, like, every year since 2015, someone significant in my life has passed away, so every holiday, it's kind of quietly somber because, like, the table gets smaller and smaller, and so... Um, the, the point of all this story and going through all this, if you sat through it all, you know, perseverance is a real thing. And I know it's usually defined by others said towards someone. I don't mean to sound here like I, I think I'm the shit. Clearly I don't. <laughs> uh, but I, I hope at least you can see like you can fight through some pretty nasty shit and come out on the other side stronger and more importantly, more knowledgeable and make the adjustments and learn and live a happier, healthier, better life. So that's all we really need to do, right? All this other stuff, the money, the views, all the platform, the speaking, the tweets, social media, the noise. Does it really truly matter at a certain point? I don't think so, you know? And uh, maybe it took some growing up to realize that. But again, hopefully just a small tale on perseverance can um, get some of you over the edge. Because I understand the reason I talk about it too is um, I, I think for a lot of people out there, like I was in that position when I had anxiety and depression. And I still struggle with it from time to time, but I didn't know how to put it into words. And when I heard someone talking about it, I just felt better knowing like, okay, I'm not like this insane weirdo with this very specific issue, right? Like this is something other people struggle with. Like how are they coping with it? So, if you're struggling with health stuff and, and you've come through this video, you know, it gets better. It does get better. Um, and with that, thank you all so much for listening, lending me your time. Appreciate your support. Here's to the new year where I will see all of you, but you'll see me every day while I am away outside of the weekends. <laughs> so with that, take excellent care of yourselves, especially that's funny coming from me. Take really good care of yourselves. And I'll talk with all of you very soon. Peace out.